Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a new Switch emulator called Sadachi. So down below in the description is where you'll find a link to download it. Download it and extract it to your desktop. So it looks like this. Unfortunately, I cannot show you where to get the prod keys as well as the firmware. However, if you do a quick Google, you'll find both of them on the exact same website. Once you find them and download them, extract them and put them on your desktop. So it looks like this. These are the three items you should have on your desktop. The emulator, the firmware, as well as the keys. This is for the 5-in-1 drive only. I want to make that clear. Right now, the, the old version of Hyperspin is not really being updated. And the modules are rarely, rarely around these days. So again, it's basically for the 5-in-1 drive. I will be using my personal drive. So let's move on. Right now, as you can see, we've got the folder open. So go find your Retrobat folder on your 5-in-1 drive. Open it up and go to the emulators section. Open that up. And I'm going to be copying Sadachi in there. I've already done this. So as you can see, sorry, Sadachi is down here. There it is. Open up Sadachi. Scroll down and open up Sadachi.exe. We're going to open that up. For you, the very first time you open this, you're going to get an error. Just press OK. Go to Tools, Install Decryption Keys. Go to your desktop, find your keys folder, open that up, highlight this, and press Open. Now that's one thing done. Next, go back up to Tools, go to Install the Firmware. Where did we put it? Go to your desktop, highlight the folder, and just press Select Folder, Installing the Firmware. Now we need to install the games, or just tell it where the games are. So go to double click this, go back, sorry, go back, just to make sure people can see it. Add new game directory, double click. Where's yours installed? For me, it's on my personal drive. It's in the Retrobat folder. So for those that don't know, your Launchbox and your Retrobat all runs from basically the same folder. So open up Retrobat, go to ROMs, scroll all the way down to Switch, press S on your keyboard, also helps. And just keep going. I think I, there it is. Highlight the folder and press select folder. Right click it and say scan for subfolders. And for me, it was pretty quick. It depends on the computer, but these are all my games. Now we're going to have the configuration. Oh, sorry, configuration. Great word. We're going to have to configure the emulator. So go to emulation, configure. It's going to open this up. The next thing we're going to need to do is click on graphics. So make sure it's on Vulkan for me. I think it's better to run Vulkan. If it's running bad for you, try uh, OpenGL. I don't think it's going to be that good, to be quite honest. So go to Vulkan, select your graphics card, make sure that's selected. Mine's a 3080 Ti. Make sure VSync is on. I'm going to use Borderless Windowed for now. You can select full screen. And down here is basically the resolution. So for some strange reason, it allows you to play in docked mode as well as handheld mode. That's why it's 720 slash 1080p. I'm going to upscale it. So it's 1440p as well as 4K. That's that. And I'm going to click, let's check advanced. Everything seems pretty good here. Just want to make sure. Yeah, best quality. That's perfect. Go back. Press, uh, oh, so before we press, okay. Go down to controls. Select pro controller and obviously select your controller. Now I actually have a pro controller that works on the PC. However, it is not next to me right now. Brilliant, just before I do the video. Uh, you can select your controller here from the input and just press the buttons. I'm sure most of you know how to do this by now. I've heard this emulator actually is really good with Joy-Cons. You can get the Joy-Cons to work for this emulator, which I don't really understand why you would. If you have a pro controller an xbox controller also works sorry works pretty well here as well and press ok once you've that all done the next thing you need to do is run your games and check them out first now we're going to try and move them over to launchbox as well as i might take a look at the retrobat version let's go so now we're in Retrobat and you need to open up the Switch folder. So once you're in the Switch section, should I say, as you can see, I, I really don't use this section a lot. I really need to, I need to overhaul it. It looks terrible to be quite honest in Retrobat. So before you launch a game, you press select on your controller, 
scroll down to advanced system options and as you can see it's using yuzu at the moment so click this and press sadachi and back and from now on every time you launch a game it's going to launch it from sadachi now let's head over to launchbox and switch it up over there so now we're in launchbox but we're going to need to tell launchbox where the emulator is and then we're going to need to tell it replace yuzu or ryujinx with the new sadachi so the first thing is to tell the program where the emulator is go to tools go to manage and click emulators so we're going to add it first press add what is the name of the emulator sadachi where is it located now because i did this earlier it's going to find it for me straight away but for you it's in retrobat emulators sadachi highlight this press open once that's done for here in the default command line uh, minus f space minus g and down in running scripts paste this i will leave a link to it down, or not a link i'll post it down below in the description that if it's that is for if it's not really exiting for you or just exiting is that the word yeah for you you can just press escape and this should make it work now to be quite honest there's really no need for it because when you press escape on sadachi it'll basically ask you are you sure you want to leave but just in case that is there for you now associated platforms which platform is it for double click this click the drop down and we're going to scroll down and find the nintendo switch once that's done click the default emulator that is telling the program program sorry that this is the emulator you want to use for the nintendo switch from now on once you click ok it's going to say are you sure yes yes once that's done exit and now you are basically on sadachi for the launch box on your kinai drive double click it's going to load it full screen and as you can see it's now loading arms for sadachi on your kinai drive that is basically all you need to do well now we're going to double check it we're going to open up big box and see if it works from there now we're in big box mode and we gotta click on the screen first <laughs> So open up the Nintendo Switch emulator, click Dragon Ball Z, play, and it should open up Sadachi, no issues whatsoever. So like I always say to people, thanks so much for subscribing. If you want to join our Discord, the link is down below in the description. There's a lot of conversation going on in there. I really do appreciate everybody that's joined recently. I also appreciate people that help each other out in there. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much. Here's the game. As you can see, it's loading. Nintendo don't come after me. And my uh, controller, which I have now, as you can see, is working perfectly. Like I always say, have a lovely, lovely day. And thanks for watching.